gets to that last possession there. You guys didn't call the timeout. Coach actually said it's something that's a scenario that you guys went through in practice yesterday. What, what were you looking for? What did you see there? Uh, I was looking to get baseline. Um, you know, a couple plays before that, uh, we ran it, and Kyle ended up uh, making a layup to put us up one. Um, you know, with me coming off that first time I seen, uh, you know, I could be a little bit more aggressive and that's what I did the second time down and, um, you know, ended up making a shot. This is probably tonight the most time that you've had with uh, Mark uh, on the court since he got here. How do things change on the floor, not just for you, but for the, the five guys out there when he's on the floor? Um, it doesn't change too much, you know, uh, you know, he just, uh, could score in a post. And, um, you know, we have to all know that he's on our team now and then just be able to give him the ball down there, you know. Uh, he could cause fouls, um, you know, make his shots. He's picking pop, smart guy, knows when to roll. And, um, you know, good passer. With the amount of roster turnover you guys have had, you know, how beneficial is it to be able to play these sort of tight games that you're going to see a lot down the stretch and into the playoffs? Uh, I mean, we've been playing pretty much tight games all year for the most part. Uh, that's something that we're trying to get better at as a team. Just, you know, we're up 10 points. We want to keep building that up to 15 and then 20. But uh, I think we have, a, you know, enough experience playing these tight games throughout the whole year. You guys have done well in these close games. I think you're at 11 and 4 in games decided by three points or less. What's the difference between a team that is able to execute and convert in those moments versus one that isn't? What are some of the kind of qualities as a team that allows you to be successful in those situations? Just the things we always talk about, just execution, um, you know, on who you're guarding, um, making sure that you're doing the right defense assignments, and that's a pretty much it, and just knowing each other and just being able to play in these tight games. You know, it just gets you better. You know the situations that you're gonna, um, you know, come come that's gonna come in front of you. Have you noticed a difference in Kyle over the last month or so? It seems like he's starting to get healthy again, and getting back to his old self. Well, he's playing well. Uh, he's, he's, I think the All Star break helped him. Even before that, you know, uh, he's been aggressive. He, I mean, he's been playing well all season to me. He just had a couple uh, one week where he wasn't making those shots, but that's what happens in the NBA. Um, it's 82, it's 82 games and. You know, for me, these are just practices and playoffs is when it's time to, you know, lace them up.